secretly discovered there is a deposit of gold beneath Neemaw Valley High School. Load up. Load up. However, you do not want to tell anybody and you want to be able to access it, but of course you can't blow up the school to do so. So you have decided that you are going to secretly tunnel from a point farther out here down to get the gold. Thanks, Susan. If your tunnel turns out it's going to be 62 feet long, I want to know what is the angle of depression you need to be tunneling at. So where would the angle of depression be? It has to be from the horizontal line down. So where's the horizontal line? Yeah, we got ground down. So I'm out to find that angle. So you said we, I was, I'm using, from that angle, what sides am I using? Opposite of Jason, hypotenuse? Hypotenuse. Opposite is 38 and hypotenuse. So yes, they are correct. We would need to use sine. And I'm trying to solve for the angle this time. So if I need to find the angle, I know opposite and hypotenuse. Now, my actually big concern here is, do you remember what you had to do to get your calculator to produce an angle? Because on the last one, we knew the angle. We had tangent of 25 degrees, 40 minutes. We knew the angle. This time, I want reverse. I need to find the angle. You're doing the opposite operation. You want to solve for the opposite variable. What what makes us switch our variables? So we done inverses. So you have to tell it to do inverse sine of 38 divided by 62. Inverse sine is also under your tree key. You'll find it under that tree key. You, you should have noticed there was sine and right below it was inverse sine. So that's the symbol for inverse. That's just the symbol somebody says it's going to be inverse. <laughs> it's negative. It's a negative. It's like a negative one power technically, but it's the symbol for inverse. So you would actually punch that in your calculator. Inverse sine of 38 over 62. Okay. Okay. So you get something like 37.799, whatever, whatever. Okay. Look at how many significant digits were in your original numbers. Two. So we have to round this off to two. So it would round off to 38 degrees. <laughs> and that's only if you don't have the degrees, right? That's only if you what now? Yeah, yeah. If you don't have the angle, if you're trying to find the angle, you'd use inverse. So. Okay, are we good? Yes. All right. Let me pause.